Welcome back to Bob and Kelly's Mixology Monday. We hope you guys are having a good January so far. January is a long month. It's got a lot of Mondays. Yeah, so you get you're getting a lot of yeah, you're getting some goodness here. A lot January. of cocktails in yeah. January. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what are we making today? Today we are going to make something just a little different. We Kelly had this. We went to an Italian restaurant here locally a couple and, weeks ago yeah a couple of weeks ago and they had this drink on the menu and kelly wanted to try it and it was really, really i fell good. in love with it it was yeah. amazing i love lemon drop martinis and this one changes it just a tiny bit yep yeah so what are we gonna make we're gonna make a basil lemon drop martini. yeah it's so good if you guys are fans of basil you might love this one it kind of cuts down the tartness a little bit yeah and, and the, the sweetness drop. too gives you a little bit of a herbaceous just tenets. a little extra salt and salt yeah and it's like it goes great with italian food let me tell you yeah or not or just or, i'm just saying it goes, it goes great with anything but yes it, it does really does go good with yeah italian so food. if you guys are uh, fans of basil you may enjoy this one i do because mm -hmm. this is like gonna be my third one since i've had one in the restaurant yeah okay so what do we need to do first first we need to put some basil in our little mixer cup okay we have some fresh basil leaves la 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 it's a little wilty so don't mind that we're gonna throw it in there throw it in the cup and grab the muddler we need the muddler this is the superhero the yes, muddler the muddler and well, we're gonna muddle the muddler is, kind of sounds like a villain it not does a superhero well he could be a superhero maybe yeah. the villains are trying to plan something yeah. and he muddles so everybody. basically what you're doing is just bruising the basil to kind of get the uh oh yeah i can smell it already oils out of it yeah you can really smell it and you know we tried anything. this with something in it before and it's kind of better to do it without any liquids in it just yeah. so you get really good basil bruising. Yeah, you really get that kind of basil. Yeah. Smell that. Mm, that smells amazing. Basil bruising. Basil bruising. Yes. Bruise your basil. I, I just did. Okay. Okay, okay so, then we need some vodka. We need vodka. We're going to do six ounces of vodka. This is for two drinks, by the way, not yes. just one. Yes, this is for two today. And each one of these little measures is two ounces, yes. so I need three of those. So it seems like quite a bit of vodka. I did math. But like Bob just said, it's for two cocktails, so six ounces of vodka. The recipe kind of calls for citrus vodka, but we happen to be out of citrus vodka at the moment, so. I don't think it's really that necessary. We're gonna use regular old Tito's today. Yes. And then we're gonna use and two ounces of, it calls for Cointreau, but we're gonna use triple sec. It's basically the same thing. Yeah, any orange liqueur, orange liqueur. or citrus liqueur yeah. is gonna work, so we need two ounces two of this. Ounces, okay. And I have already pre-sugared the rims of our glasses. Two ounces of that. Yes. And then we need some lemon juice. La la la, fresh squeezed lemon juice. Fresh squeezed. I happened to squeeze this yesterday. And we need two ounces of fresh squeezed lemon juice. You sound like a, like a racetrack. There we go, with two ounces round in the corner, two ounces of fresh squeezed lemon juice round in the corner, and now it's in the lead. Coming down the home stretch, we have simple syrup. <laughs> simple syrup. <laughs> simple syrup. And we're gonna need two ounce, one ounce of simple syrup. Are you sure? Yeah. That says four. But that's not true. Okay. That That's circled and it doesn't mean that. Okay. It's four teaspoons. Oh, four teaspoons. So yeah, how much simple syrup do we need? One ounce. One ounce of simple syrup. One ounce okay. of simple syrup. Just to give it a little bit of sweetness. Yep. This is just regular old simple syrup. Nothing special. Equal parts sugar and water. Yeah. Melted together. Yes. And then we're going to put some ice in there. Put some ice in there. And shake it up. And shake a raker. Here we go. basil leaves in the bottoms of our glasses just so they will kind of float to the top uh, just gives it a little fun kind of garnish do, do, do. Do, do, do. and we Get are going to we're not gonna i'm not double way. straining this time because i kind of want some of the basil to come out of yes it. so here we go here we go are we ready yeah here's the pour pretty I actually like the the basil floaters. You guys might not like the basil floaters. She but said floater. I did, but I, I just think they look kind of cool. 
don't know about you. Because I do too. I think it looks and it gives a little more nose to the. Yeah, drink. a little more nose. <laughs> yes. Basil like I nose. like I need more nose. <laughs> But this gives it a little mm. bit more of a basil. That looks awesome. Aroma. Okay, as usual, we're gonna pause for some photos really quickly and we'll be right back. Here it is. This is what it looks like up close. All its loveliness right there. That looks good. Yes, it does look good. I'm ready for this. Me too, I'm excited. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you could definitely taste the basil. More so than the one I made the other day. Yeah. Because when I muddled the basil on the one I made the other day, um, I muddled it with vodka. And I think it's better if you bruise it dry. I think it's better to muddle it without anything mm -hmm. Yeah, do it dry. That's definitely a good thing to do. Very lemony. And then when you get a little piece of it in your mouth, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> then you get basil on your tooth. Uh huh, it'll be like this. It'll be like this. That's attractive. Yeah, that's great. Ah, that's my great. name Bob. <laughs> that's what everybody wants to see. <laughs> no, right, you, anyway. you definitely get the tartness of the lemon, but the basil kind of just gives it that that cool little herbaceous mm -hmm. note to it. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think it's very good. Yes. I do like citrus drinks too. Yeah, me too. So I like just, the orange yeah. ones, the citrus, the lemon citrus. Just a fun little play on a lemon drop. We may have done a lemon drop. We <laughs> have done a lemon drop before, yeah. but it was just a straight lemon drop. Yeah. And this one just gives a little extra something. A little something. extra something, something. So we hope you guys enjoy this. Let us know if you give this one a go. Um, hope you're having a great Monday so far. If you have not done so already, please do us a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button. There you go. Ding the notification bell so that you know when we post. And please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our video. It really does mean a lot to us. And yes, it, it helps us along. Get this these videos out to other people. Right. Okay. You might enjoy it. All right. Have a great Monday. Take care. And we'll see you next week. Okay. Cheers. Love you. Bye. 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 Mm -hmm. Yum. <laughs>